Okay. Good morning. How are you doing? You know you are very well this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, today we are going to deal with uh, writing skills and precisely uh, paragraph uh, writing. How can you write a good paragraph in English language? So I have decided to make uh, uh, this course. I have divided into two parts for you. We will see, we'll see the different steps in uh, writing a paragraph and after this we will see the characteristics uh, of a paragraph okay so let's go writing skills uh, paragraph writing okay a basic paragraph structure usually consists of three elements uh, usually usually but we can have uh, obvious three elements I uh, say that a basic paragraph such as usually consists of three elements first uh, we have what uh, the topic sentence we have the topic sentence so uh we will change this guy we have the topic sentence which is very important topic sentence i put in yellow we have the topic sentence and three suppose ideas topic sentence three suppose ideas okay this also in another color in green and uh, a concluding sentence concluding sentence concluding sentence okay this also another color you see okay so this, these are three elements the topic sentence and the supported sentences okay some the sentences you have three two or three sub sentences and uh, a, a concluding sentence so you can say uh, a, a basic paragraph structure usually uh, consists of three elements to the topic sentence the topic sentence the phrase supporting sentences or supporting sentences three or supporting sentences and uh, a concluding sentence okay but the secret to paragraph writing they in they in four essential they in four essential lay in four essential Lay in four essential, lay in four essential, uh, which which uh, when used correctly can make a good paragraph into a great paragraph. Uh, it can make a, uh, it can use correctly can make a, a good paragraph into a great paragraph. If you want to write a great paragraph, you have to respect what we are going to say now, uh, about this. Okay, so let's get the topic sentence. The topic sentence this. Okay, the topic sentence. This is very important. Ah, okay, the topic sentence. Uh, what is the topic sentence? A topic sentence is necessary to grab the reader's attention in order to make them want to continue to read. A topic sentence needs to grab reader's attention. To grab, uh, needs to grab need attention. Okay, need reader attention. Okay, so here reader intention. To grasp reader intention, to grasp reader intention in order to make them want to continue to read. All right. The topic sentence should also give readers an idea of what's coming. Or uh, read, give ideas, give uh, readers ideas, an idea of what coming, an idea of what of what coming, an idea of what to of what to come. Okay. An idea of what to come. Another hours to come. Okay, the topic sentence should also give readers an idea of what to come. Okay, okay. okay. Remember, what makes someone's writing stand out isn't always what they see. I think. It, remember, what makes someone's writing stand out? Someone's makes someone's. Someone uh, write me some out. Okay. Someone writing some out. Someone writing some out is uh, isn't always isn't always this. Uh, okay, isn't always. Uh, okay, remember what makes someone's writing something out isn't always what they see what they see not always what they see 
not always what they say okay what they say but also how they say it how they say it this is very 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 important very important huh? how they say it okay this is very important okay how they say it okay topic sentence a topic sentence needs to grab the attention in order to make them want to continue to read the topic sentence should also give readers an idea of what's come to Oh, uh, what's to come? Remember, what makes uh, what makes us someone's writing stands out is that always what they say, but also how how they say it. This is very important. This is a very important in topic sentence. Okay, let's go move. Let's go ahead with uh, the supporting details. The supporting details. Okay, supporting details. Uh, I'm going to put it in green. Supporting details. Okay, supporting details. We have strong and clear supporting details. It hard matters what a great topic since a writer has created for the paragraph. You see, we vote strong, we vote strong and supporting details. Supporting details. Uh huh. Supporting details. We vote strong and clear. We are strong and clear. This, these two words are very important. Strong and clear. Strongs. We have strong and clear supporting details. It hard matters what a great topic sentence a writer has created for a paragraph. You see? It's the supporting details in the front of our fact descriptions. For example, that back up the claim made in that sentence is supporting tales in the form of fact in the form of fact description form of fact fact form of fact or description form of fact or description fact or description fact or description all these are important facts or description Facts or description and and examples and examples and examples that back up the claim made in this sentence. Okay. Say it is it's the supporting details in the form of fact, description, and examples that back up the claim made in that sentence. Alright. The supporting details are important enough that you could think of them as the real substantial power of a paragraph. Okay, supporting details are important enough. Are important enough. Are important enough. What is enough? I put it in red. Are important enough that you could think of them as the real substantial power of any paragraph. You see, okay. So supporting details that we uh, we want strong and clear supporting details. It how models what a great top sentence a word a writer has created for a paragraph is the supporting text in the form of facts, description, and examples that back up the claim made the claim made in the, in that in that sentence. The supporting details are important now, but you could think of them as the real substantial part of any paragraph. Okay, we go ahead with the third one. Okay. Conclude. Concluding sentence. Concluding sentence. Okay, concluding sentence. We have seen how to conclude sentence. Here, concluding sentence. Concluding sentence, we'll see this. Okay, but I'll change the color for the sentence. It is important for students to know how to write a conclusion. It is important for students to know how to write a conclusion. How to know how to how to write a conclusion. How 
to write a conclusion. It's important for students to know to write how to write a conclusion. How to write a conclusion. How to write a conclusion. Okay, it is important for the students to know how to write the conclusion. Whether, whether to drive the final point home or transition uh, to the next point. Okay, whether to drive the final point, to drive the final point, or uh, to drive the final point. Okay, drive the final point. There it is. Drive final points. Drive the final points. Or, or to transition or to transition to the next point to transition to the next point to transition to the next point transition to the next point all these are very important okay it is important for students to know how to write a conclusion whether to drive a final point home or to transition to the next point all right writing a conclusion pulls everything together Writing a conclusion puts everything together. Puts puts everything together. Puts everything together. Put everything together. Mention in a paragraph. Writing a conclusion puts everything uh, uh, together. Mention in a paragraph. Okay. Mention in a paragraph. Okay. Mention in a paragraph. Mention in a paragraph. This is very important. Mention in a paragraph. A conclusion may restate a conclusion may restate may restate the claim in the topic sentence may restate the claim in the topic sentence but but now it has all the supporting detail behind it but now it has all the support detail behind it okay whether the conclusion reinforces topics whether the conclusion reinforces the topic reinforces uh, reinforces the topic reinforces the topic okay reinforces the uh, the topic or leads into the following points or leads or leads to the following points or reads or leads to the following points uh, the following topic a paragraph concluding sentence may plays an important role Whether the conclusion reinforces to the topic or leads into the uh, following topic, a paragraph concluding sentence plays an important role. Okay, yeah. So we go ahead. We have a transition. Transition word. Transition word. We have seen a transition word. Okay, here. Transition word. Transition words are very important. Transition words. Uh, yeah. Transition words. Transition words. Okay, this also. Transition word. Using transition words, we use as words between sentences uh, builds the unity, unity and uh, coherent of parallels. Builds the unity, unity and uh, coherence of paragraph. Okay. Reality and coherence in a paragraph. All right. Using transition words uh, between sentences builds uh, the unity and coherence of paragraphs. Uh, transition words, transition words like there are many transition words. Transition words like like next, like next. Uh, we'll see some transition words like next, similarly, like uh, similarly, uh, or for instance, for instance. For instance, uh, for instance, make sentences uh, flow together, showing how supporting details build on each other and relate to the topic. You see, creating this flow, creating this flow with transitional words builds the paragraph up to a strong concluding sentence. Okay, builds the paragraph up to a strong concluding sentence. A, a strong uh, concluding sentence. Strong conclude sentence. Okay, we have a strong conclude sentence. 
Unity and Huron makes up Unity is very important Unity abroad in Greek Unity and coherence Unity and coherence makes the entire paragraph effective make the entire paragraph effective okay paragraph type effective okay this is also very important all right so i have just said that uh, if i come together effective we we'll see that our sentence will be very effective okay using traditional words between the sentences builds the unity and coherence for paragraphs traditional words like next similar or for instance make sentences flow together uh, showing how supporting details build on each other and relate to the topic creating this creating this flow the traditional word from the traditional words build the paragraphs up to a strong completing sentence unity and coherence unite and coherence make the entire paragraph effective you see so let us recap what we have said if we want to write a paragraph well if you want to write the paragraph you have firstly what the topic sentence this is a topic sentence second supporting details and third we have concluding sentence and finally traditional words if we master the four, I think that we can write a good paragraph. I tell again, topic sentence, paragraph details, supporting and completing sentence, and the traditional words or linking words. You can use them to make your sentence or your paragraphs well written. Okay, so dear friends, so we'll stop the first course on the paragraphs here and we'll come back again with another course to help you understand more how to write a paragraph. It's very important in English language. Okay, don't forget to share this video and subscribe to those of your friends who want to learn the English language and how to write a good skills. Okay, I think that's very important. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now. Take care.